Good morning again to our community on this Sunday morning in the UK from 10.21 on the 16th of October 2022. What, just following on from last video, just going to show the ultrasound detector going off this morning and also to expose it to a judging jewellery. Yeah, I did not go out last night and I don't go out in Coventry. Yeah, I mean, world COVID operators are around me, yeah, 24 hours a day, week after week, month after month, year after year, doing illegal studies for the NHS, for health care, for public health, and for the Coventry Council police uh, linked Westminster's Police Force, straight Coventry Police, thinking, thinking it's a big massive training exercise, how to learn how to use thermology in infrared ultrasound x-ray and technologies see for raw technologies that's according to armed forces in the navy and uh train the future generation in what we do to people via psyops trying to break people down trying to put people through crises and how they make surveillance monitoring profiles of other people's activities people they know who are take who enjoy overindulging in sex drugs and rock and roll and gambling culture yeah that includes smoking drinking yeah and have edits it all and try and merge it all into profiles they are desperate desperately trying to make to damn and get personal prosecutions on the listed ti's yeah so whoever the film last night it was not me yeah whoever the film driving driving around coventry and, and all of the west midlands it's not me so uh, whoever they're filming showers and toilets yeah, eating food, like pigs, scoffing it down, gulping it down, shoving it in their mouths quickly. Yeah, that is not me. Yeah, realise, yeah, TIs. When it comes to these profiles, we won't show these profiles in normal court of law because it gets covered up by health care, public health and NHS abusers, NHS fraudsters, who try and make out it can't be shown in open court of law or to the TIs because... And the secrecy laws, yeah, it exposes the technologies what the governments have got. Secondly, yeah, it'll give the TIs ammunition to sue the covert operators and whoever they work for. While it says they cover up, yeah, the brainwashed judging jury, manipulate judging jury with all these defrauding profiles, clinical close ups of uh, other people's activities or even the target's activities, yeah, living in their homes by making out they are concerned for the target who, and they state a target is overindulging in sex, drugs and rock and roll and uh, cannot look after themselves and is going through a mental breakdown, is going through a crisis and that's why uh, they think they are justified to do this surveillance. Yeah, and it gets covered up by making out they are concerned for the target's welfare, for the target's health, for the target's mental health. And they make out the targets deteriorated, yeah, and has a uh, self destructed, yeah, that's all the terminology we use, yeah, to cover it all up in the family court of protection. That's how we get court orders, yeah, they're manipulating, bribing, paying, twisting, judging juries' heads up via showing them clinical close up photographs and videos and sound recordings of targets and of other people they use as body doubles, cast it in into their legal surveillance monitoring profiles. Yeah, and that's how we've been getting away with it. Yeah, for decades, generations, getting court orders on people under mental health and health care. While making out the target's gone through a crisis, or has had a meltdown, or has had a breakdown, and is suffering. When in reality, TRs aren't me, and all over the world, all over the UK, are exposing it all, because of the power of the internet and because of, of uh, giving our experiences out, yeah, you can work out that uh, it's all similar all over the UK, all over the world. So it's a targeting system that's been exposed. And that's what I'm exposing and I'm warning the commentary judge and jury do not ever give court orders out in their family court protection. The covert operators have been exposed as major fraudsters and they're doing it 
to help the brothers and sisters who work in health care, who work in public health, who work in NHS, who work in mental health, who work as psychiatrists, sociologists, and want to be human behavioural scientists. And now neuroscientists. Yeah, they're helping their own people. Yeah, have careers, advanced careers, and doing it to make money out of free research, free hidden case studies, and out of free workplace community comparison trials. That's the only reason they're doing it, doing it for, and this yeah, they're doing it for, and that's how they've cut it up for decades and generations. Yeah, they're helping people who are reps in the drugs industry. Yeah, they're helping family members and friends, cousins, aunties, mothers, fathers, whatever who work in the government sectors. Yeah, it's a targeting system being exposed, and I'm not having a bunch of vagabonds, a bunch of low lives, a bunch of thieving, racketeering. Cybercrime, torturing, murdering, radiating, exposed covert operators, yeah, around me or my mother and think they can get away with it in Coventry City via the Family Court of Protection, via court orders, via public health, health care, NHS, and the Swansea Centre Doctors Administrators, Mental Health Administrators. Yeah, I've exposed a covert team leader and he needs help. Yeah, he needs government help. Yeah, for doing surveillance monitoring espionage, for breaking every law in surveillance monitoring. Yeah, for trespassing and doing walking burglaries using inv invasive, intrusive, abusive surveillance monitoring technologies, apparatus and equipment that he's borrowed, he's stolen or he's brought off the of, of internet via his armed forces, via his navy and his police connections and his farming connections and his foreign legion mercenaries connections. Yeah, the covered leader is, is this thick, degenerated, as they come. Yeah, he can't face, yeah, he can't face the accusations face to face. He can't handle, yeah, con constructive criticism and he can't handle the truth getting out. That's why he won't show his face. So I stuck on coverage. So judge and jury. Find out who the senior cover leader is linked to Coventry Police, linked to Coventry CID, linked to the Armed Forces Boys, linked to the old dormer security in Coventry and throw a book at him and throw him in prison and investigate all his finances all his life because he's a low life. Yeah, he's stuck on cover duty seven days a week, has had no life for 17 years and surely you can see that. Yeah, he celebrated nothing, not even his birthday, not even celebrated his Christmases or any festive holidays. It's how broken the senior cover leader is. It's how broken the Coventry CID are. How broken all the NHS people are. Half care abusers are and the public health abusers and imprison all the seniors that he has conspired with. From Dr. Holmes, Dr. Batoris, to the Ralph Benitez, Paul McKenna, Paul McKenna look alike, to the core Caucasian Guild, to Xena, to all the commentary NHS nurses that I know, Amber School members that I have exposed. Yeah, investigate their lifestyle, investigate their finances, investigate yeah, what they've been doing for 17 years and find all their clinical close-up research that they've done on me, my mother and my brother and throw them all in prison. Yeah, because they're a bunch of low-life, drug-taking, thieving, cybercrime-oriented, cyber-torturing-oriented, radiating-oriented, evil government servants. Get the Carl Keeble, broken ex-Navy boy, he worked at SCS, throw a book at him, take his pension off him, disgrace him, and throw him in prison. That's going out to Carl Keeble and all the armed forces boys who I've mentioned before. Throw the book at them and take every penny off them and to proceed a crime using government equipment illegally to trespass, yeah, to do walking burglaries and to do intrusive, invasive, abusive surveillance monitoring. Yeah, that's looked, uh, that is linked to serious criminal offences, organised crime. So as you can see from last night it was going off, but they're, they're using their armed forces, Navy, sea for all technology, radiating equipment. That's in the town, in the city centre, sorry. The, the infrasound would have been going off this morning. There you go. So 
So from this morning, they've got someone hiding down Gregory Road in the premises near there. Same location, says all we'll we're doing, all, yeah, and then the next one, 20 Chime Minister, another one in that location, that's where the cover operators are, and another one, so that's three cover operators judging jury, Coventry Police, yeah, that, uh, that, that you have to detain, arrest, and throw in prison for abusing people, radiant people in their own homes. Find out who the senior leader is and throw him in prison for a lifetime. You can't let the senior leader get away with it. A broken DCI, broken CID, broken fireman, broken armed forces boy, broken local community member. He deserves to rot in prison. Yeah, that's the memory that needs to be, that be made for Coventry people. Yeah, and to warn these Coventry community members to never do gang stalking ever again. Yeah, make an example out of this COVID team, UK government. Make sure they're going in the local paper, in, the, in all the papers in the UK, in all the news channels in the UK. Yeah, and make their lives a misery by throwing them in prison. So West Midlands Police Force, calm down, do your own investigations and strike off all the Coventry police officers who are participating in it all. So everybody, enjoy the rest of the weekend that's left to Sunday. And TRs around the world, yeah, know where you live. If you've lived there for a very long time, over 20, 30, 40 years, you should know the community and the mentality and the attitude yeah, to certain groups. Over and out.